What's going on, YouTube? This is the Primetime Movie Network coming at you with another video. And uh, tonight's today's topic um, has been a topic uh, within the Last of Us fan base for over a decade now. 2013, when people first finished the game, this has been a controversial discussion for 10, 10 years now. Me personally, I don't really don't think there's really that much to discuss. However, it has been a discussion. And that discussion has been, did Joel do the right thing at the very end of The Last of Us uh, season finale? Uh, but before I get into that, uh, if you are a fan of the channel, if you're new to the channel, of course, you hit that like and subscribe button as well as notification bell as well, where we discuss, where I discuss movies, TV shows, do movie reviews, all that fun. This is a strictly movie TV show channel. And uh, if you want to donate, if you want to donate to the channel, you can donate to the Cash App at PrimePod313, where any donation would greatly be appreciated. So... For those that may not that don't know the show or the show's ending, Joel and Ellie finally get to meet up with the Fireflies at the hospital. And Marlene, the leader of the Fireflies, basically tells Joel that there's a possibility of a cure. And but however, because the the cordyceps grows within the brain. It's a, it's heavily implying that they have to kill Ellie in order for him to create this create this vaccine. And Joel makes the decision to be like, nah, fuck that. Kill every single one of the fireflies in the hospital. Takes Ellie with him. Kills Marlene in the process. And he basically lies to Ellie that, hey, I mean, the other kids like you, they couldn't really find a cure. You know, raiders took over the hospital. Everybody's dead and all that stuff. And at the very end, Ellie tries to, you know, get it out of Joel and say, tell me, which is, what, is that all that true? Is what you said about the fireflies true? And Joel doubles down. And he says, I swear, it is true. And you could tell on Ellie's face, like I said, you could tell he knows, she knows deep down Joel is lying, but she chooses to accept it and still rides with him. And the discussion has been brought back up big time again. Did Joel do the right thing? Now, for someone who has followed this story, for someone who's a fan of this story, who's a fan of Joel, who's a fan of Ellie. This is for me. I can't speak for anybody else. This is for me. Joel didn't do a goddamn thing wrong. He didn't do a goddamn thing wrong. Because and anybody who says that what Joel did was wrong lacks empathy. Because Put yourself in that situation. If you're a father, if you are not even a father, if you have like a little brother or a little sister or a little cousin that you really care for. And these people are telling you that we are going to kill this kid just for the possibility of a cure. And the little kid does not get any say in the matter, then yeah, you're more than likely gonna have that same reaction. That very same reaction. Because what people need to understand is when people say, oh, it oh, wasn't Joel's right and all that stuff, and, and Joel, he he did he shouldn't have did that and all that stuff. Listen. I got a question if these people have kids because any father would possibly would do that. 
I mean, I mean, it's a little bit different, but y'all seen John Q and the lengths he was going to go to the, the lengths to, to, to protect his son. And, and you got to think about this. Joel and Ellie has been through a lot together. A lot of shit together. From episode one all the way to episode nine, we see their bond, their relationship, their trust grow. Joel tells Ellie. He opens up to Ellie about he was having suicidal thoughts during the early days of the outbreak. And he was going to delete himself, but he flinched. He missed. And he tells Ellie that you healed me. Ever since you came into my life, it you've, you've healed me. And you made me become a human again. They literally become father and daughter. They become father and daughter. This was Joel's second chance at being a dad, which you could clearly tell that he that he enjoyed. And you would think that he would let because the system took his daughter from him in the beginning of the outbreak with Sarah. And you think he was gonna let the system take his second daughter? Again? Nah, son. Nah. Nah. Now, after everything we've been through, the connection that we've had, nah. No way. And then for the possibility of a cure, we don't know if it's 100%. Joel does not know. Marlene does not know. The Fireflies do not know that this is 100% factual. Don't know if this cure really, really could work. It's just, a, it's just an estimated guess. And you, and, and, and you think about how fucked up that would be if, let's say, for example, Joel agrees to the operation. They do what they, they do whatever they do to Ellie. They try to create this cure. It doesn't work. And basically, the only immune person person on this earth has died for nothing. For nothing. See, I, 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 I'm, the, I'm the type of guy that doesn't like to deal with uncertainty. I need to know 100% that this could work. And Marlene could not answer that. It was a possibility. In the, in the, in the zombie apocalypse, you can't deal with just possibilities. You can't deal with just guesses. And, and if I'm Joel, I'm already looking at the fireflies crazy because, one, we're walking to the hospital. We're, I'm doing my job. I'm taking to the hospital. One, you you have your men throw flashbangs at at us. Two, you have them knock me the fuck out. So I'm already looking at y'all crazy. And then you know Marlene, you know talking crazy about how like, like you don't understand. I have no other choice. And you know if you if he tries anything, shoot him and all that stuff. And then the dude kept pushing him and shit. Like, I didn't say stop, all that stuff. Like, bro, like, hell yeah. I'm going to fucking kill all y'all. <laughs> Boy, y'all coming at me crazy. And who's to say that if Joel did agree to just leave, that they wouldn't have shot him right there on that road? They say, oh, take him out to the road with his backpack and all that stuff. He tried to do. Who's to say once they got him out far enough, they would have shot. They wouldn't have shot him anyway. You can't take that chance. You can't take that chance. And as far as the doctor goes, it does. I won't let you take her with that bullshit pussy ass scalpel. Listen. To be realistic, I get that. Okay, you have an opportunity to save humanity with this little girl. And her father basically wants you to take her off the operating table. And this is your only chance to save humanity. Yeah, I, I get where you're coming from. But at the same time, I could give a fuck where he's coming from. I could care less. And once again, it scares me. 
Because once again, we know what's coming and we know who is coming. And I was just hoping that Joel killed everybody in the hospital. And I mean everybody. For those that are in the know, know who I'm referring to. Found everybody and killed everybody. But for that did not happen. And season two is upon us. And I cringe. But 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 yeah, I, I, I thought Joel was 100 percent right. If you're a father or if you have a younger relative or that's Ellie's age or younger. Now it would have been different if the fireflies picked Joel and Ellie up, went to the hospital, Marlene and the doctor sat them both down and discussed the procedure, what needs to be done, if they discussed it with Ellie that, okay, there is a, this will kill you, but this could be the start of regaining humanity again. And if they left it up to Ellie, if they strictly just asked Ellie, what does she want to do? And if Ellie agreed with it, I'm pretty sure for Joel, that'd be a hard pill to swallow, but at the end of the day, it's Ellie's choice. Now, if Ellie made that choice and Joel still did what he did, okay. Then you kind of look at Joel like, okay, Joel, now you're being now you're being selfish. But they didn't give Ellie that choice. They just knocked her out. They just took her, drugged her up, put her on the operating table. She probably didn't have no clue what they were going to do with her. They were going to low-key murder this girl. So yeah, fuck that. Joel was in the right. Joel was in the right, and he kills Marlene, we said, which you, you had to do. You had to do because who knows how how, how hell-bent the Fireflies of Marlene was about this cure thing. Yeah, they would have they hunted Joel to the end of times from one end of the, one end of the country to the other end. They would have searched every inch of dirt on Earth then look for Joel and Ellie. So, Joel was right. Joel was right. And he did lie to Ellie. But, you know, the parents do that sometimes. They sometimes lie to their kids to protect them. And Ellie will probably be mad at Joel now. But later on, I'm sure she'll understand. So, so there's that, and, and I noticed something before I did this video about how Neil Druckmann was talking about how he doesn't care about the Last of Us 2 backlash. Neil, fuck you, bro. <laughs> fuck you. Okay, you see, you see th this is the type of stuff that made Last of Us fans really sour on you. Was that type of attitude right there? Granted, was the backlash. I thought the backlash was justified for the most part. How when it came to the death threats of the voice actor of Abby, all that stuff. That's when I'm like, okay, now you're going too far. Okay, now. There's always that group of people that just takes it one step too far. Okay, be mad at the director and the writer and all that stuff, but 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 the voice actor and all that stuff of of of, of Abby. No, no, that's not the way to go. Critique the hell out the game. Critique the hell out the story, you know, and 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 of course. And and of course, go at the director who's who's going who's talking snappy back at the fan base, you know. And this is why on you know, with Screen Five, it's funny. You no, know, with Screen Five, when basically the the one thing I still kind of sour on with Screen Five was, you know, it was to me felt like it was Hollywood's way of of uh, calling out, you know, 
toxic fandom, you know, calling out, you know, the fans that are over overly critical of movies or video games and all that stuff. And 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 and, and Neil Druckmann's, you know, attitude about that is a great example. Like, you know, it, when, when, when I saw him say that, I'm just like, oh, damn, they're re- are they really going to go through with this? Are they really going to go through what I think they're going to go through? What we all think they're going to go through? <sighs> Time will tell. Lucky for us, we only have like a good... So I think they said that they're going to film season two later this year. So probably around mid to late 2024 is probably when season two will be released. And so it'll be very, very interesting to see what they do. But as far as this video, Joel didn't do a goddamn thing wrong. He did what he had to do to protect the second daughter. And that the fireflies didn't come at him crazy. And Marlene didn't talk to him crazy. And they actually had an actual discussion about this with Ellie making the final choice. I'm sure this would have been resolved better. Because Joel at that point was like, fuck the world. The world took my daughter. I'm not going to let him take my daughter again. So. Shout out to the OG Joel. You did the right thing, brother. But let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section. Uh, do you guys feel that Joel did the right thing? Y'all feel like Joel was wrong for what he did? Um, of course, let me know your guys' thoughts. Hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, y'all. Everyone have a good day. I am out. Peace.